So what's going on guys, my name's Chopper, and welcome everybody to another video, hope you're doing well. So if you've been paying attention to the Call of Duty realm, or, or just really what's been going on in any capacity for about the past week or two, then you will clearly know that Call of Duty Cold War is on the way, and it's gonna be big. Needless to say, it's been a pretty weird year, not only just for game development, but I'm sure for literally the entire world, and I, I'm not sure how that's gonna reflect when Call of Duty Cold War comes out, and I, I have some concerns for it, and I'm also optimistic in other ways, but what I really want to focus in on today is zombies and the way that this year's call of duty has been revealed or is being marketed to us is completely different than anything we've ever seen before now typically at this point in the year we don't really have any zombies information or much to work with at all and that's the same case for this year although we do just know a little bit more about the game as a whole however zombies is really what i want to hone in on I've been really thinking about recently what Call of Duty Cold War would need to do in order to make zombies approachable and enjoyable for all kinds of players, and I think I've come up with a reasonable set of propositions that I'm going to share with you guys, and of course you can let me know what you think about it. If you guys do enjoy today's video and you want to see more of these, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it is completely free and I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you are brand new around here for more zombies videos, and I stream zombies almost every single day over on Twitch, the link to that is in the description, I'd really appreciate a follow if you haven't done that as well. Now we're going to walk through this and take it apart a bit, so don't worry, but I think most fundamentally black ops cold war zombies would benefit from being approachable yet with a retaining a high skill ceiling so what exactly does that mean uh, what, what the gameplay you're looking at on screen is of course the very first map in zombies this is nocturne totem the most approachable map in history you load into the match and you survive that is literally it however the concept may be simplistic but it is not by any means easy playing earlier nocturne totem versions or even just earlier iterations of zombies maps the game Gameplay is not inherently easy and can even become pretty intense by round 10. Nocturne Toten is enjoyable because it feels like you're just barely scraping by on your resources as the rounds get more difficult, and increasingly it becomes more difficult until you pull something like a Wonder Weapon, which gives you a temporary boost over the zombies, but again, that is to fall short as well. It's this idea that you're really never going to win, and that's that's what makes zombies fun. I think where Black Ops 4 really dropped the ball was dropping the survival aspect. I thought about this the other day too. It seems like Black Ops 4 was designed with player mechanics in mind first, and then the game was built around it second. So for example, it seems like they made the decision that they want to have specialist weapons on spawn no matter what. There's not a map you spawn in on BO4 without a specialist weapon. There's also the perk system, which again, I'm not going to get into too much because I think the overarching problem is that they built the gameplay around the systems rather than vice versa. I imagine them developing Black Ops 4 and then realizing, oh my god, the player now has access access to a specials weapon on spawn, you know, uh, an, a, a complete plethora of perks, and there's so many safety nets and that are serve as a barrier between you making a mistake and going down that the gameplay is now too easy, and, and yeah, it probably was, and so they made the zombies annoyingly aggressive, and this had catastrophic effects on the game. This is why high rounds were no longer as fun. This is why they need to implement super sprinters. Alternate ammo types were not nearly as effective, so it all comes from this idea that they built the gameplay around the player. In World of War through BO3, in some sense, it feels like the gameplay was built first, and then the player was implemented and fine-tuned into that precisely. The fatal flaw in Black Ops 4 was that the tension in the gameplay was all deflated. From the minute you spawn in, with 200 HP, a specialist weapon, and countless other resources to defend yourself from zombies, it felt like the survival aspect had just been faded away, and it was more centered around the quest, and we've talked about that in detail before, but I think Cold War would do itself a great service by almost you know, going back to the basics and, and retaining what made zombies fun. They need to restore tension back into the gameplay of zombies, and you might ask, well, how exactly do you do that? Removing safety nets and punishing mistakes are actually the number one way you can restore tension in a game. Let's compare Black Ops 4 to something like Black Ops 1. In BO4, you have 200 HP on spawn, you have two extra lives automatically without buying Quick Revive, you have Dying Wish, you have Victorious Tortoise, which literally makes you invincible as long as you have a shield, you have a specialist weapon that will literally make you invincible as well and recharges based on kills you have either grenades or homunculuses you have elixirs what i'm the point i'm making is that black ops 4 more or less is a gear based game rather than a survival based game the emphasis is less on your you know movement skill and tactics as a player and it's more just on the gear that you have your success in black ops 4 is partly determined by the gear that you have unlocked and what you're running in game your skill can only take you so far in BO4 if you're not running the right equipment. However, in Black Ops 1, you could say that there is absolutely nothing that's gear-based. It's, it's whatever you get out of the box, and then 
it all comes down to your personal skill as a player. And you could say, well, I actually like both styles of gameplay, and that's fair. And you know what? That's what I think Black Ops 3 did perfectly. It rode that really fine line between those two things. Now, Black Ops 3 is not a perfect game, and I criticize it all the time, but one thing it did extremely well is being a survival game mode, but having this underneath layer of a, a quest that you can go on, and you, you know, you can basically layer the map on ways to make it more replayable. And I really think Black Ops Cold War could take the fundamentals of Black Ops 3 and expand on them. And they could do that in a few ways. Uh, comparing to Black Ops 4, they could scale it back a little bit to bring the emphasis more on survival. That would be a way to start. They could also expand the technique and the skill ceiling on the movement system. It is my opinion that BO3 Zombies had the highest skill ceiling in terms of player movement options. And I could go on for an hour talking about why that is, but suffice to say, BO3 probably had the most fluid and unique movement system of all. BO4 was a slightly watered down version of it. There still was some movement tech in BO4, but nothing like what we had in BO3. And I actually think they can expand on that in the next game. Imagine in Cold War Zombies, you have movement options where you can slide or dive in the same game. It's like they, they got rid of the dive eventually to replace it with the slide in Black Ops 3. And a lot of people sort of miss the old style of being able to dive. It isn't very practical, but it has its uses. So you could actually have both in one game. You could maybe do a thing where you hold to slide and then you double tap to dive. Making some interesting movement options input based. I think Modern Warfare has started to dabble in that a little bit with the regular sprint and the super sprint, but I think it can be taken to a next level. Making the game engaging and interesting to move around in is probably fundamentally one of the most important things about zombies. That and keeping tension within the gameplay at almost any stage in the game is also important, but having that underlying layer of a, a quest that you can go on, let's say the Easter eggs, is just as crucial to zombies. But BO4 may have teetered too far over the edge when it comes to being a journey-based game, and I would say it sort of lost the heart of what makes zombies good. And now what do we do about high rounds? Because this is the conundrum we're in. You can have a Black Ops 1 style of game where all the guns suck later in the rounds and your only option is to use traps, or you could have a Black Ops 3 option where you can use alternate ammo types that are basically wonder weapons taking you to whatever round you like, but it's still allowing you to use your gun. Or you can do what BO4 did and make a zombie's health cap out at a certain round, but you still need to feel like the game is getting harder at a certain point, so they made super sprinters after round 55. Honestly, none of the options are optimal, but as far as the one that is probably the most fun, I would still say that Black Ops 3 did it because you can either choose to use traps or you can still kill with your gun, but the zombies don't get any more annoyingly aggressive than they need to be. At the end of the day, I, I don't think there is a perfect solution about how you balance high rounds, but I think that, you know, implementing all of the best aspects from other games that they've done would serve them well. I think Treyarch has realized at this point that sort of going back to the basics, but making the gameplay again interesting is, is going to be the way forward. Needless to say, this is going to be one of the most interesting years for zombies ever. It could be an absolute banger, or it could be a flop. I'm trying to be optimistic about it, and at the core, the things I mentioned in this video, I think would help to do well in order to make the game acceptable as, as a zombies mode again. At the end of the day, I still hold true that the most important thing Cold War Zombies can do is to make the game as approachable and casual and uh, lowering the barrier to entry as much as they can, but still retaining a high skill ceiling on the game. And that can be done, although it's difficult to do. A game can be simple, yet not easy all at the same time. And I think earlier Zombies games were able to encapsulate that. If Cold War can, then I believe it's going to be an absolute success. But this was sort of my take on the matter and what I would like to see out of Cold War Zombies. If you guys have any other suggestions or anything that you think would make zombies good this year, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your opinions. If you guys did enjoy today, please make sure to give the video a like rating. Subscribe if you are new to the channel for more zombie videos, and make sure to go follow me on Twitch. Link to that is in the description. I'll be streaming every single day. Come say hello. But anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Take it easy, everyone, and peace out.